Let's look at a completely different approach to saving found sets using the snapshot link feature. Now the snapshot link is for allowing you to share something with another person. So let's say you're looking at a particular customer or you've created a found set or you have a report or something like that that you want to share with somebody else and you don't want to call them up and say, hey, uh, do this search uh, you know, or go to this layout or sort it this way. You send them a snapshot link and it's going to restore the found set, the current record, the sort, the layout, and everything. They just have to click on that little icon. And so you can do that real easily. So let's go ahead and go to invoices list. And let's make a found set here. I'll omit a couple records. A couple more. Go to this record down here. Sort it. KP invoices ID is fine. Then we're going to go ahead up here and save send records as snapshot link. I'll leave it the name it is, go to the desktop, records being browsed, we could attach it to an email, this is the sharing part, you might want to just email it to somebody. Hit save, it's now saved, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show all records, change what record I'm on, even change what layout I'm on, and then we'll close the database and remind you what happens when we open it normally. There's your snapshot link right there, Realize it's .fmpsl, right? So when we normally open it, it's going to go to customers, right? Let's go ahead and open it with this. You'll see that it restores the layout, the sort. It restores the current record and the found set. Everything has been restored. It's all the same way it was when you actually saved it. So we can actually use this to create a found set feature that people won't even know that you're using the snapshot link. It's pretty cool. So we'll come back over here, go into Manage Database, go to Tables, and we'll duplicate this one. It's going to be very similar, so we'll copy and paste it. Call it Snapshots. And we'll change this to SNA Snapshots. We don't need active right now. We're going to keep this very simple. We've done a lot of this stuff already, and it looks like we need to take that out at the same time. In fact, we'll just highlight what we don't want, which are those two. Delete those. And we want name, but we're going to make this into a snapshot into a container field. There we go. So we have all the fields we need now. Now what we need to do is create ourselves a script to actually save into that table. So we'll click OK. We don't really need a relationship at this point. We're going to do it all manually here. Or not manually, but all with the scripts. So we'll come in here to our script workspace. Do a new script. Call it found set or save found set. Let's keep up with the same name. Snapshot. And I didn't quite get the name right here, so found set, save, there we go. That looks like the rest of them. We'll put in perform script of allow user abort, as well as set error capture. And the first thing we're going to do is initialize our field. So that field will be our X name. We're just going to reuse the X name set. Might as well. It's there. It's the same kind of concept. It's not. I, I haven't always reused global fields because sometimes I want the values to remain. I don't want to overwrite a value and then you see it, you know, in, uh, above your uh, your filter portal or something. Going, what's that value in there? So sometimes I reuse them. Sometimes I don't. Depends on where I'm actually using them. So we'll put in here quote quote. Then we'll do a show custom dialog. And inside here we'll say enter name. Enter the name of your found set. Pretty simple stuff. We don't have to really spend a lot of time on this because we've done it a lot already. We'll say OK and cancel to keep those. We'll do an input field of X name set. And then do a label of name. Our standard if with the get last message choice.
And if that equals 1, then we're going to do all this stuff. So here comes the part that you haven't seen yet. We're going to set a variable. And we're going to set dollar sign $path. What we're going to set that to is get temporary path. Now, if you remember correctly, that's the path that nobody can find on the hard drive that also gets deleted as soon as you close FileMaker. So that's where we want to put files that we just want to temporarily want to put them on the desktop or in the documents folder. It would kind of uh, defeat the whole purpose. It would clutter everything up and, you know, the users get mad at you. So we hide it in there. And then what we're going to do is concatenate on a name for it. And we'll use something, let's say, uh, you know, X name set. Sounds good. That's the name they typed in. We might as well use that. I mean, you could use really anything. You could use the primary key if you wanted to. It really doesn't matter at this point uh, other than, uh, you know, we need something to identify it and give it a name. So there we go. And then what we're going to do is add on .fmpsl. Okay. So that's our path that we want. Now what we're going to do is save records as snapshot link. Do the same thing, specify the output file, dollar sign path. Simple as that, do not create an email. We want this to say, stay kind of hidden there. And that's it. Very simple to do. Then we'll go to the layout. Now you could do this in a lot of ways, uh, you know, as far as, as doing this, but you definitely in this point have to go to the layout. I mean, you might make a new window and stuff like that, but again, we've covered all this stuff. We're going to do a very simple approach here so you get just what you need for this technique. We create the new record. We do the set field. And we're going to set our snapshot name to our X name set. And remember, global fields from another table can be accessed. You don't need a relationship or anything for that. Then we'll come down here and do an insert file. Now it's important to remember the field has to be on the layout in order for it to do the insert correctly. So we'll come in here and see what we've got. We've got dialog options, right? We don't want to let the user choose. We're going to do insert, but we're going to actually um, do all this our, ourselves so it won't really matter that much. But anyhow, uh, we'll put in uh, never compress. I just like to go over these options you have. You know, if you do show the dialog, you can, you know, prevent them from choosing different methods here. And then we'll go to our target field, which will be in snapshots, snapshot field. And then the specify the source will be dollar sign path. There you go. They're never going to see this at all. Just going to go ahead and do it. And then we'll say go to layout original layout. So nothing spectacular. We're going to we're going to lose our tab or current tab and field and things like that when we go ahead and save it. But we're really again not trying to show you every last bell and whistle on here because you've already done that previously. We're showing you the main feature set here. So let's try this out and see what happens. So we're in here in customers and we have let's say a found set of 89 current record of 40 we can go ahead and then just, well, we'll show that script under the menu here. I'm not going to put any interface on it, so we'll just run it from here. Save that snapshot. We'll give it a name. We'll call it John. It seems to have worked. Let's verify that. And we'll come into snapshots. We do have a record. We have the John.fmpsl. The name's there. So that looks great. We've actually got that snapshot link stored in a record in a table. So what we're going to do next is show you how to retrieve that information or, or activate this snapshot link so that it opens up and restores your found set and the current record and the sort and the layout.